Scottish protest at library cuts to the First Minister and all members of the Scottish Parliament. We would like to protest at the widespread cuts to the library service taking place throughout Scotland. In a society experiencing a widening gap in household incomes, our libraries, in the great tradition on which they were first inaugurated and enshrined in the law of the land, provide access for all. The cuts to book budgets, library opening hours, mobile services, branches, and the drastic and unnecessary deletion of professional posts strike at those most in need of a library service and those least able to protest against the cuts in that service. The less affluent, the elderly, the frail, the people who are challenged mentally and physically and their carers, those who look after babies and toddlers, and crucially, our children who are our future. And then it's signed protesters, the first hundred. I'm not going to read that. Literature is one of Scotland's jewels. Not only has it been our heritage and our culture, it's got a huge economic value, particularly all over the world. I've spoken all over the world. And in the United States of America, one of the professors of literature said to me, you're pushing against an open door here. We're waiting for you. Where are you? And it was really brought home to me the popularity of Scottish writers and literature when only on Tuesday afternoon I sent out an email foolishly with my own email address on it saying <laughs> because I'd received an yet another email from a writer uh, asking me to support, um, to put my name to a protest against cuts in the deprofessionalisation of the library service. And I've done this for the last six months, sent out dozens and dozens of emails and I said as a joke, why don't we just write out a letter, take it down and put it, pin it onto the door of the Scottish Parliament. And suddenly, I think it went viral, and I had about 768 emails in my inbox by Friday morning. So, I wrote out a letter and I could only put the first hundred supporters on it. I'm sorry, but that's all I could do because I just didn't have the time. Years ago when I first started writing, there was very few writers about. There was Maggie Ryan, Kathy McPhail, Frank Rogers, Joan Lingard, etc. And now there are dozens and dozens of fantastic Scottish writers who are read all over the world. I'm talking here particularly for, about children's writers. So this is not a petition, it's a protest. We are advocates. It's a national day. Our friends in England and Wales and Northern Ireland are protesting. And I really worry that we are wearing thin the cultural fabric of our country if we don't look after our libraries. Thank you very, very much for coming. To begin with, I thought I might be here in my own. <laughs> Julia Donaldson has been an absolute star about this. Thank you everyone who's turned up. Thank you, Librarian of the Year. And thank you, Gregor, who's just six weeks old. But thank you very, very much. So Julia will read the petition. I'll hand it over to you. Yay! the job of mopping the library floor 
which I have to say absolutely beat the socks off sitting in my cell reading the books that the library had and it had amazing books in between the Catherine Cookson's and the Mills and Boone of which there were racks upon racks upon racks there was also books by the French existentialist Raymond Quinault who I would never have discovered if I hadn't been in prison in Glasgow <laughs> <laughs> and had been allowed to clean the library <laughs> and the last library I'd like to mention is a library about as far away from this parliament building in Scotland, still part of Scotland, up in Shetland, the library in Larwick. And I was asked to go there and be a writer in residence and I had six weeks there and I couldn't bring my entire library of books with me and I knew I was going to want to read and read and read. So I joined the library there and I sort of snuck along and started filling out forms to join and the librarian came up and said, you're known to us. <laughs> <laughs> Libraries are the most important thing, certainly for me, and that's not just because I'm an author and because I benefit from PLR. It's because when you write, it's not about selling books. It's about wanting your books to be read. And with libraries, that is what we get. We get a readership. We get minds into which we can pour our books and that for a writer is the most important thing. It's all about connection. Yay!